Yeah, just you know, kind of thinking about the three games in total, what do you like best about uh, what you guys were able to put out on the floor and the experiences they were able to get? Um, it, was a, it was great experiences, and I was really impressed with just how guys competed every game. You know, from the first game against San Antonio to this last game that just finished, you know, not too long ago, the guys did a good job of competing. What did you think of the way that the team kind of responded after building a 31-point lead and get that chopped all the way down to, I think, five, mm. and the way they were able to kind of hang on and, and deal with all that pressure? Bless you. Um, I thought they did a good job of just, you know, keeping their composure, you know. I mentioned, I think, the other day where the game was going to be imperfect, and we were up big, and, you know, credit to Philadelphia. They came back, they were playing hard, was able to get it down to five, and, um, you know, we didn't flinch. You know, we did a good job of staying together. And um, I kind of did a better job of just getting them in better sets offensively where we kind of, like, could alleviate the pressure. But for the most part, I just thought that the guys did a good job of not flinching and just keeping their composure. You had Guzman at the five a lot today. And I know the, the lineups are pretty interchangeable, but what did you think that um, did for him and what maybe opened up for him the way that he was able to, to score and then also rebound quite a bit for you tonight? Yeah, you just, you know, you just mentioned it where, you know, offensively he had a mismatch, you know, playing the five. Um, I thought he did a good job of just, like, initiating our offense as well. And then also, you know, being the five, being able to, like, crash more on the offensive glass and on the defensive uh, glass as well, too. Yeah, some of the non-roster guys had a chance to play a little bit more tonight. What, what do you think the opportunity means for them to kind of show what they can do? Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity for those guys. Um, the day... I'm not sure which day it was. I think it was Tuesday. We had uh, a practice, and those guys, you know, play pickup. And one thing that we encourage all those guys is just to stay ready. And it was great because we played a bunch of those guys today, and those guys were ready, came in, and played the right way. Wanted to ask about Kayla McConnell specifically. He was two-time Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year at Rutgers. Had a lot of good defensive plays tonight. What stands out about what he does on that end of the floor? He, it's just he's like a junkyard dog. That's a compliment, by the way. <laughs> And it's just his energy on the defensive end. And I told him when he was going back into the game where it's like, you're setting the tone defensively. And he did a great job of picking up full court, uh, getting deflections, getting steals, and just putting his body on the line on the defensive end. I thought he did a great job tonight. It was just as you, you think about the, the full three game experience here, what did you like about uh, how you were able to progress as a player over these last three games? Uh, I think I'd be better like every game in the last three games. Like the first one was a little bit it will be bad. I think I got better yesterday and today. Was way better. And like for a point of the team, I think we did better today. Like in terms of defensive, like we played better defense from the start, and that's that's what we. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think about the way you were able to rebound the ball tonight? You you had a bunch and seemed to be really physical with your box outs. Yeah, I'm. I'm just trying to play hard. So grab the most rebound I can. And like, yeah, just follow my, my shot and the shot from my teammates. And what have you thought of Trey's summer league? He seems to have just been in a great rhythm. He's, he's killing, actually, like right now. Uh, he's playing really good. He worked all summer, too. So I'll, I'm not surprised. And yeah, just hope he keep, keep playing like that. You put in this summer. I know it's still early, but can you kind of feel some of those things um, kind of come to fruition here with, with the way you play? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I worked a lot on this summer uh, on my body, on my shot, so I can play like harder and like get more shots. And I think I can still improving, but it's good for now. What would you like to improve at in your mind? Um, just like play aggressive. I like, play. Trying to create more with the ball, and I gotta clean out the turnover. I think I did a lot of turnover today, so yeah, probably that. How beneficial are these games for you playing in competition like this, especially late in the game with the game on the line? Uh, I think that was really good. That's really good to play like during summer. We didn't play it all summer, so just just being able to play it's really good. And like, yeah, the game was on the line at the at the end, so that was really good for us, like to get the experience and yeah. What's it like to be back with most of the team again for at least for a week or so, two weeks? Uh, it's really good. I mean, we've been we've been together all summer in OKC, but it's really good like just to play, play together, and yeah, just enjoy. Trey, just kind of digesting the whole three-game experience, what are you most proud of in terms of what the group was able to accomplish this trip? I feel like we came out and we competed every game. 
Um, some games, it was different stretches where we competed. Um, but I feel like every game we went in trying to compete to win. And it was good. We all played together. Um, so that was the most thing. That was the thing I was most proud of, just how we came in here with our mindset of competing, trying to win. What did you think of that extra pass Ooze made to you to, to get the three that kind of sealed this one tonight? Um, it was a good pass. Um, he was poised down there. Um, he could have easily like forced something up because he was open a little bit. But three guys came and he he found me and I just knocked it down for him. They were putting so much pressure on you guys uh, in the backcourt and at the top of the key. What was um, the key to kind of just dealing with that and, and being able to um, hold on to the win? Um, just breaking to get the ball. And then when, when we got the ball, just trying to take care of it. Um, it was a couple times where we weren't in spots, and that played a big part of them being able to get deflections and, you know, turn us over a couple times. But uh, for the most part, I feel like we handled it pretty well. Trey, what's it like for you to, you know, kind of play with some of the guys on the summer league roster that aren't on the regular Thunder roster, and just to see them sort of like fight for their chance to play? Um, it's cool. It's always cool, you know, meeting new people, um, playing with new people. They all been a pleasure to be around. Um, they're all, you know, really good basketball players. Um, but uh, I think that they come in here with the right mindset of competing, playing hard, playing the right way, and um, hopefully they, you know, get seen and you know picked up somewhere. I know it's just a few summer league games, but do you think you'll take away some confidence from this just with how well you you played and shot the ball? Uh, yeah, for sure. Where do you think you improved in these three games here in Utah? Just my poise, um, and then also trying to find you know better shots, and I felt like that led to me being more efficient. Um, but that, that's really my main key. That was my main key coming in, trying to be poised and play with a good pace and just show my maturity. And um, I'm proud of the way I did that. A couple turnovers that I could have you know cleaned up this game and last game, but for the most part, I feel like I was real poised. Do you feel like this was an important three games for you to come in here? For sure. Why, why do you think so? Just because of the you know, up and down season that I had um, last year. Um, just being able to try to bounce back from that. And it's also good to like get reps of what, I'm try what I've been working on this summer and what I want to get better at for next season. So um, you know, it, was, it was good that I was able to come in here, knock some shots down, play well, um, gain some confidence. Um, so I feel like this trip was was good, so now I'm looking forward to Vegas. What kind of growth have you seen in Usman just you know playing with him this summer from where he was last year as a rookie? I say his maturity. Um, 82 games is a lot of games, and he he spent a little bit of time in the G League, so uh, just the reps. Um, you could tell he was a second year player out here. Um, shots didn't fall the first couple of games, but um, he could have easily you know just quit the rest of the games, but uh, I felt like he did a good job of still staying in the games, playing defense, uh, making other plays when his shot wasn't falling. Um, that was one thing that I noticed, and he just uh, competed really well.